Hey guys and welcome back to PlumbingPartsPro.com. Today we're going to talk about an alternative to this awkward drain assembly for your bathroom sink. It's a pop-up assembly with several connections, uh, several places where it can leak. We're going to talk about that and an alternative that you can replace it with. Check out the video coming up next. Okay, so here we have your basic vanity setup. Basic style faucet. Has a lift rod here that you would pull up and down for your stopper to stop up the drain. We're going to take a look underneath what that really consists of. So as you can see, we've got a typical basin drain here. This is uh, what they call a pop-up assembly. Now this one's even better than, than a lot of them. Some of them are all plastic with plastic ball joints and plastic connectors. So this one here has several places it could leak. It's got where the ball rod meets here with this pivot joint that works up and down. So when you lift the rod on the top by your faucet, when you want to hold water or stop up water in the sink, what it does, it lifts this strap here. It's connected to this pivot rod, lifts it up, and pulls that drain down in the sink. So a lot of times over a period of time, this rod that runs through this drain has water going through it all the time, soap, um, toothpaste, anything you would use to pour down the drain, which deteriorates this rod. So a lot of times it'll end up not working and corroding. Also, they tend to leak a lot right here at this ball joint. They're kind of awkwardly loud because they're just loose and not a positive connection. And some of the connections up here that you really can't see are kind of hard to adjust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this drain and I'll come right back with a different style drain that's easier to use, easier to install. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we're back, we've removed the old drain. And this is the, the bottom of the sink. We're gonna show you how to put in a Price Vister drain. It's the Price Vister 972-053, and A would be the color of chrome. You can uh, get other options as far as brushed nickel and the bronze finish. This is the drain here. We're gonna open it up. This is what the drain looks like in the package. And what I really like about this one is it's really easy to use the stopper. If you look at the stopper here, to stop it up, you just push it and it stops it up. You push it again, the drain drains out. Very simple to use, all one piece construction. It doesn't have that pivot rod, which is hard to adjust, and it doesn't have a, a spot for it to leak later on. So in order to put this in, it comes with a gasket, a small gasket here that goes under the bottom. Some people like it, some people don't. I typically use plumber's putty and I'd apply plumber's putty around this flange. I would drop this down through the top of the sink which would come through like this. Then you would take your larger beveled gasket, slide up from the bottom, and then take the nut slide over here, get it started, tighten it up, you want to get it good and snug, you don't want to over tighten it in case it may crack the sink, and then on the top side around the rim just kind of wipe out any of the putty, the plumber's putty that may have squeezed out. Put some water in it and test it. So let's check it out. So this is the result. It's what it looks like. Um, very clean looking. In order to stop it up, you just push the button, fill it with water. When you're ready to drain it out, drain the water out. It's that simple. If you guys have any questions about either one of these drains, the pop-up assembly or the Price Fister push, uh, push fit drain, let me know. Give me an email at info at plumbingpartspro.com 
or comment down below. I respond pretty quickly. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can uh, purchase any of these in the chrome, the satin nickel, or the um, oil rub bronze color, the dark bronze color. And uh, give me subscribe. I got a lot of videos coming up on a lot of plumbing items. Thanks for watching, guys. You have a good day.